I used to be a student of Eshit. I don't know if you know Eshit. Yeah. Really, yeah. So I graduated um, as a psychologist. In Nigeria? Yes. Before yes. traveling? Yes, before coming here, yeah. What I'm earning here is far more to compare to what I earn in a year in Nigeria. What I earn here, like let's say like a week, mm. is far more than what I earn in a year in Nigeria. A I, week? I'm telling you, the highest they pay me in Nigeria is 5,000 for grades. 5,000? Yes. The highest? Yes. Now, now, that's what you are doing now for, for one... 180 euros. And sometimes, you know, all these stories, they, they come and then they make one dread. I don't mm. know what they use it for, just one. I'm talking of this. this just one single one. Just one single. This is this thing you're seeing now. Yeah. They make it for 20 euros, they make it for 30, 50. Just one like this. Changing the narratives with Mr. B. How are you doing? I'm okay. Anyway. You look great. Thank you. I must confess without no doubt that you are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to meet Thank you. you. Honestly, uh, I'm just going to ask you one or two questions, and I believe through this interview, a lot of people are going to learn. Yes. All right, we we they do these things just to educate the public, yes. understand, to share from our own life experience, especially we when we're with the European. European all right, okay. okay. Before I'll come back to you to give you just a minute for you to introduce yourself to the audience. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, all my great viewers, depending on the place you are watching us from. We are back again with another episode of this program, Changing the Narratives, saying it the way it is in the city of Rome. We are here again with one of our big sister. Yes, I'm just going to give her a little time for her to introduce herself to you all. Just as we do say, please try to hold on to the end of this interview. As we do say, we do reserve the best for the end. You can only get it all if you wait till the end. Please, let's talk to our sister as she introduces herself to the audience. Please, can you introduce yourself to them? Okay, my name is um, SHG in I'm from Nigeria, you go to the precise. Wow. Yeah, and I'm married to Mr. Ozi. So wow. wow. I, <laughs> I think I'm Thumbs up to Mr. Ozi. Ozi, Ozi, yes. Ozi, Ozi. Yes, okay, yes. all right. Um, uh, okay, go on. I'm if you're a student, a... I used to be a student of Eshit. I don't know if you know Eshit. Yeah. Really, yeah. So I graduated um, as a psychologist. In Nigeria? Yes. Before yes, traveling? Yes, before coming here, yeah. Okay. So, um, so what was your first primary motive of traveling? If you are you are a graduate, you are a graduate in Nigeria. Yes, yes. So why did you decide to, to move? Because my husband is here. So okay. I came to meet my husband. Okay. Yeah. And I got married. He came down and did everything and then brought me here. Oh. So now, now that you are here, apart from coming to meet your husband, is yeah. there any other uh, vision? Of to course, it? of course. Why not? Okay, I, what I'm can here, you share with I'm us? I'm here for greener fashion. I couldn't have left Nigeria to this place with, uh, without anything in mind. I have. I'm here for greener fashion. I'm here to, you know, better my life. I'm here to, you know, also make money and then help my people down there in Nigeria. Okay, like how 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 many years are you are you, are you I've are been you here for just um twelve months, um, which is approximately one one year. One year. Yeah, but I'll be one year ending of this month. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So now let us start with this. What was the primary as in the first uh, uh difficult thing that you encounter coming here, knowing that here is not an English speaking okay. country? First of all, it's the language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then secondly yeah, I think there's a, a little bit of racism. Like they, 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 the white people, they see you as um, not, you know, equal to theirs. And then secondly, the how will I say it now? Like I don't know how to like differentiate it. Like they see you as you, you don't, you are not one of Up them. They are... yes, you're not one of them. The language, the the racist, and what again? Um, I think that's all. That's one of the most things I've encountered here. Okay, now being a graduate in Nigeria, a yeah. psychologist for that matter, yeah. I believe going to school and spending all those years, yeah. you were your your target was to use it as yes, in yes, work yes, under yes. that very profession, right? Yes, yes, yes. Now that you have come here, now uh, are you still pursuing that very career, or you are you have switched to something I else? I have the mind to pursue it, but for now, I haven't started. I really want to like further my education. But well, because of the language barrier here, mm -hmm. I haven't really gone into that. Right now, I'm working because 
I used to be a hairdresser in Nigeria. Okay. I I learned how to, I learned how to make hair, makeup, and so many other things. So I think this is what I'm doing for presently. now. Yeah, presently, until I'm able to like um learn the language and then get um so I, I like um like equip myself. I don't mm. have like get the money to you know go to school and then further it because for me to practice it here, I have to. You know, do two either two years or a year course okay. to be able to practice it here. So for now, I'm working as a hairdresser. Okay, so but you still have in mind to of go course, yes, fully to that. Have, uh, yes, of course. Okay, you know, today if you have not told me now, I wouldn't have known that you are such a. You understand me? Because uh, there is a this uh, mindset of uh, a lot of people that yeah. every girl that comes to this place, but especially Italy. They are into prostitution. Let us use the word. You understand? I don't know yeah. whether you have that. You have heard something of I've, such. I've heard it. I've heard In case, maybe I'm the one that just. It's even one of the, the problem I have. Yeah, it just reminded me. Okay. When I really came here because they were, you know, when you meet people, they tend to like ask you, "How did you get here?" Okay. You know, and when you don't, maybe you don't want to tell them, you, you, uh, you came here to maybe your husband brought you here. Mm. They were like. Did you come through the sea, you know, the, mm. what they call it? And if the if, if peradventure you actually came through the sea, they just you know totally conclude conclude that you're a prostitute and that is what we have to your hair for. There was a time I had a, a conversation with somebody, so I just pretended like mm. I just wanted to like get um, what the person is going to, you know, see me as. Then he asked, Where are you where how did you get here? I told him I came through the the sea, um, the, the land. Yeah, the land. Then he was like, "Oh, a fine girl like you. Is this how you want to end your life?" I was like, "What do you mean by that?" He said, "All those girls that came through the the, the land, that uh, that is what they are here for. That many of them that he has a counter is just prostitution. That is what they end up doing. But that is I don't know why. I really don't know why people generalize it. I know that people that came earlier wrong, maybe." They, have, they must have made that mistake of doing such things. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think that is the reason why it should be generalized. Everybody, once you see a black lady that came from maybe Africa, you just assume that they are here for prostitution, but that is not it. There are some that came here to, you know, better their life. There are some that came here to study, to further their education. There are some that came here, because this handwork I have now mm -hmm. is really, to be honest with you, I never knew it was going to like earn me what I'm earning now. Mm. I'm not. That's I'm hairdressing. Not, I'm, yes, yeah. I'm not. I'm not like trying to brag about it, but I know what. I don't, I'm just like I told you. I'm just nine months and here. Mm. I'm um, eleven months and here, almost one year. But I know how much I've earned from hairdressing. So and uh, there are also other people that came here with handwork. Mm. They have something they already doing in Nigeria, and because of the the. the the, um, how will I, the situation of Nigeria. I don't know if I should call it a situation, but I know uh, the country, the way it is. The condition. They want, yeah, the condition of Nigeria. They want, you know, a place they can work and earn something for what they are doing. That that is what what they are doing. I did that. I'm doing that. I did that when I was in Nigeria. But what I'm earning here is far more to compare to what I earn in a year in Nigeria. What I earn here. Like let's say like a week. Mm. It's far more than what I earn in a year in Nigeria. A I, week. I'm telling you. What you get in a week yes. from your hand work yes. in this and place is what to, more exactly. Is what more what what more than What's what I earn yes, a year. In a year in a year in Nigeria. And it's not as if you don't work. You work from money to night. Nothing to show for it. At the end of the day you might just be counting like ten thousand or maybe five thousand. But here, you work and you earn what is worth what you are doing. So I'm sure so many other people that came from Nigeria to this place has that kind of mindset, you know, to come here and and enhance their handwork and then get something to help people back in Nigeria. So the narrative of seeing others, yes, is, is popular everywhere. I have experienced it myself, so I know that is what um, most men think of women that came from them, but that is not how it is. Mm. I have I have friends now here that also came through the sea, and not do, they are not doing anything like prostitution. Some of them are catcher, some of them they are in camp, and they have handwork, and they have been enrolled in some places where they are, you know, doing that thing. 
you know, working and making money for themselves. So the narrative of, you know, you know when people just spoil things, they, they tend to like, just like a like a, a village, when you do something wrong, maybe few people do something wrong, they, others will start seeing those people, those villages. Change the village to be... Everybody is in that. It shouldn't be that way. Okay, thank you so much because the reason why we are doing this, as you can see, is changing the narratives. Yeah. You understand? Saying it the way it is. Yeah. Because I equally believe that it takes you that is wearing the shoe to yes, be able to yeah. relate to the people how things are. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because for me to speak on your behalf, I can't be able to explain it in details the way you are feeling it or the way it is going on with you. You make mention of one thing that uh, they, they have this notion that anybody that comes through the sea, yes. does it really mean that anybody that comes through the sea, they are coming here for, 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 for anything bad? I believe that I some people just escape because that is yes, the only possible yes. way for Wait, them to move. Help. Yes. They excel, you know, to look for greener pasture. That is the only way they can come to this place. They, they couldn't have, maybe it was difficult for them to, you know, go through the flight mm. and all that, the process of visa. But because they don't have that opportunity, they, you know, they find other ways, which is to the sea. But, but people aren't changing it and turning it down. Because I know I have, I've, I've encountered people mm. who have come through that and they told me stories. They tell me, like, what they went through. You know, sometimes in, in the middle of the, I don't know what they call it, that... Um, Libya? Yes. You know, there are so many, there are so many experiences. Tell me. It, it, prostitution. Okay, just so, let us I, know I so that we want to, we are just saying it, we are not hiding anything. Just if you have something you want to share, let us share it because we are not here my, to encourage my, anybody. My, uh, myself, I didn't come to this. Okay, yeah. My, like I said, okay. my husband brought me here, so I came to... Okay, just what you But move. my friends, those I've met here, because I went to the camp, so I saw some of and I met friends. And, and they told me, like, I don't know, some of them said when they are at that area, mm. that there, there is a particular place you can get to. Mm. The men there, the, the villagers, mm. you must have to go through them to be able to pass. And the only way to go to them, if you don't have money to give to them, mm. you have to give what you have. Very and to sleep with them. Yes. And if you won't do that, you rather go back. Or probably they they kidnap you and ask ransom from your from your people. So most of them, some of them, I won't say most mm. of them, some of them went through that process. And I'm and I think because of that, people hear hear what is happening and then when you now come over here, they they think they tend to think that everybody that crossed to that road okay. has gone through this situation and will not value it herself anymore. Like, no one to like you know, you know how will I say it? Like protect yourself. You see, prostitution as nothing, and because of that, you go into the streets and then do whatever you have to do to make money. But there are still some that insisted did not go through that. Maybe pay with their money. Came here, but once you just hear that they came through that um, road, they just generalize it that they are prostitutes. All right, okay. Now uh, let me quickly ask you this question: mm -hmm. You are here now. You have friends. Yes. Can you just uh, like uh, explain to us? Because I still believe that there are a lot of people out there, mm -hmm. either in Nigeria, in Africa, or all over the world, mm -hmm. who are still looking forward. As in, uh, you're talking about handwork here. Yes. You understand me? Because so like. How will you explain that having a craft before coming to this very place? I think I think this is the main thing, you know. Anybody that wants to come here, I think if you ask me our advice, just get a get a handbook. Mm. You know, learn a trade, learn something that you can do. Because here yeah, I don't really think yeah, brain, your brain matters. Okay. But there are some most of them already have people working in their computer and their, their, their educational uh, system. system. Okay. So for you, if you really want to come here to Hozo, I think you should have to at least start with something. Okay. If it's not for education, if you're not coming here to study, I think anybody that wants to come here should have something doing, either tailoring, hand, um, hairdressing, makeup. Do you know that I went for work yesterday, makeup work yesterday, and the lady was telling me, because I met her in the shop, in, in our shop, 
And she was telling me that she searched all through Google that she couldn't see a makeup artist in Rome because they came to they came from Nigeria to have a wedding here. Oh. Yeah. So like they brought their wedding here. Okay. Yeah. The bride and the groom brought their so most, so many people came with them. Yeah. So they were from Nigeria. They were searching to see if there's a makeup artist. Any Nigerian any makeup Niger artist? Yes. Any Nigerian makeup artist around Rome. They couldn't. The, the girl got to know me because she came to the shop and she asked. Can you introduce me to do you know any makeup? And I told her that yes, I am a makeup artist. That was how I went to that work. And just that work alone, to be honest with you, I made like three people. You know, I made four people up. And one one person, I don't know if I'm I, I'm supposed to just No, it. disclose it because people want to be encouraged. I, I made hundred euros. You know what is hundred euros? Yeah. And just one person. So calculate one person um hundred euros times four. That's four. Just how many hours I made four hundred euros. So imagine when you learn recall, you learn it, and then you come here and establish yourself. Because the girl was like, she was, she was like, telling me that she looked all through Google. She couldn't find any, any makeup artist. That if not that she found me here, they would have gone to the wedding without um, So what, I, what am I trying to say in this thing? If you're coming here, I think the first thing is to learn a trade. Learn something you can do with your handwork. Something that you know that when you come here, learn cooking. Cooking plays a lot mm. because I have a friend that cooks and she has she, she can attest to that. You can, you know, different um, Nigerian um, groups that you can cook for and all that. You know, learn apart from that, there are other trades you can learn. Mm. So, that is, I think that's what I can advise anybody that is at, uh, apart from coming here for study, mm. any other person that you want to come here to hustle, be it a man, be it a woman, just learn something, learn the handwork. Okay, so I still believe that uh, there is one of the disadvantages to us, Nigerian Africans in general, because not that we don't really have a, a makeup artist here, we have a lot. I can attest to it, even this very zone terminal here, we have a lot. But one thing that is lacking behind us, uh, that, that is make, keeping us behind, is that we are not fully integrated into this uh, computer oh, era, okay, this uh, internet uh, yeah, yeah, age, you yeah. understand? Because if you should enter into Google now, search for Italian makeup artists mm -hmm. online, yeah, you can you find yes, yes. thousands of them. Yes, yes. But Nigerians, we have a lot in store. We have a lot in the houses. But having your shop online, yes, yeah. we don't. I think we should also look into it. Uh, yeah. Most of the customers we have here, we have a lot of customers. Most of them come, come to us through the Google app. Mm. They see the work we do. You know, they see the reviews. That is your hair. Yes, yes, the hair, the makeup, everything. They see the work through Google because most of these people here, they work with app. They work. Yeah, with the yeah. This internet. is the era we are now. Yes, that is the era we are, and and you can't just expect somebody to just be walking on the road and be looking for a shop. They just go on internet. They will Google um, nearest um, hairdress uh, and hair, hair salon salon around. That is how they they go to places. And they, they they go through the map. They use their map. So whatever business you do, I advise you put it online. Mm. Yeah, so that people can locate you wherever you are. Yeah, that's the thing. And that is another one thing that we, we, we always try to because Africans we are really lucky behind in this very area. Okay, like as you are now, let us let us set aside that it was it wasn't your husband that yeah. brought you here. You finish your study. If you have a profession, yeah. you understand me? Yeah. Is it advisable, like people like you now, leaving their profession behind, or maybe they have work doing in Nigeria that is ending them, ending, uh, ending them money, mm -hmm. leaving it behind just to say they are coming here? Do you think that is more profit, pro profitable coming here? If you ask me, I don't think, if you have something doing and you're earning, um, like, something that is satisfying mm. i don't think you should leave it to you know go to other countries since you know that your what you're doing in nigeria or any other place is really gets is, is really you know it's something that you're satisfied with mm -hmm. i don't know i don't i wouldn't say satisfied because nobody is satisfied with yeah yeah, yeah. Kind of that's what the economy says it's a human need is yes yes <laughs> yeah. there's a level you get in nigeria and um, how would I put it? Like, it's not only about money. Okay. Like, life is not. It's not only about what you earn. 
it's also about people you are able to impact in. Yeah. People, the life you are able to change. If you are changing life in Nigeria or any other place that you are, and you are doing things that you know that make that improve people, and you are also earning from it, I don't think there is any reason for you to. My own opinion, I don't yeah. think there is any reason for you to, you know, travel to other countries except if what you if there is no future in what you are doing in Nigeria. If if like. Like I said, the, the more reason, apart from the fact that my husband brought me here, the more reason, uh, before that, I'd always wanted to travel out. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the reason I, I don't want to travel out is because I know that what I have, the value I have, if I go to these other countries, I'm going to earn more. Okay. Yes, because they value it. But I'm not trying to like um I have like say, like speak bad about my country. No, 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 no. no. Hey, no we have to encourage people the yeah, way it yeah, is. The way it is. I'm just being honest. Mm, my yeah. own mindset. I'm not discouraging anybody from staying in Nigeria. But the reason why we travel out to get a, a, a better is because people. I think people outside value. I don't. Should I say there is money outside the country, or should I say that they value what we give out? But in Nigeria, you can make you know. They don't really care about your health, what you go through, you know, to give them that, not all of them, mm. so most of them. Yeah. They just give you what they think is okay to them. No, what's, what's what what is it? really what, what you're doing, you know. And when you look at it, you know, you just get tired. Sometimes it's frustrating. Like you feel like giving up. You feel like you don't want to do this again. But when you go to other places, like I'm just, let me just speak about this place that I am now because mm. that is the experience I've had. I can, I can make it in just two hours and i'm you know when you look at what you are being paid you're satisfied and you'll be encouraged to even do better mm. to do more yeah and that is why for me i i wanted to travel out so i don't know if you have something that you're doing in nigeria that you are happy with you're satisfied with what you're earning is okay for you and you're impacting life you're, you're you know you're improving people why travel stay back Okay, let me please. I don't know. I know this is your personal uh, business, right? Mm -hmm. I still believe that it's still very much okay. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you have done this business in Nigeria, mm -hmm. yeah. you know how much you use. Let us use Bob Marley, which is common hairstyle for everybody mm -hmm. or, or women or sometimes. Uh, like, you know how much you make a Bob Marley yeah. per person in Nigeria. Yeah. I come here and you all probably know how much you make Bob Marley. Yeah. Okay, can you please disclose to us? Like in Nigeria, how much do you make Bob Marley? And compared to how much do you make Bob Marley? Because we are doing this in case of if there be any sister out there who has these crafts yeah. and still die in Nigeria, not having what it, what it works, yes, yes. and she really desires to live, we can use this to encourage we them. You understand? It, yes. Please, we just need to say it. Okay, okay. in Nigeria, when we make Bob Marley, <laughs> <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Because. You have to stay for four hours, four, okay. four hours in one year. Okay. And at the end of it, to be honest with you. Okay. Now I know, I know um, the pay is depending on the environment where you stay. All right. Yeah, but where I stay is also a, 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 a very good area. A good location, so, okay. Yeah, good location. What will make her a bob man, like you say, you say you should bob man. Okay. What will make bob man, you get 2,500 now. 2,500. Yeah. Which year That's was that? Mansion. From the last year. 2023. Yes. So early last year. Okay. Early last year because I, I, I got here in May. Okay. Yes. So early last year, last two years. Okay. I do for 2,500. I do for depending. Okay. If it's going to be a very long bridge, I might do for 5,000. Yes. 2,500 for normal bridge. So um, maybe if it's twisting, you can do like 3,000 because that one is a bit harder. So that is it. But here, <laughs> <laughs> you shook your head. You want to know? Please go on, go on, please. Here, just a bridge. And the, the, the funnest part of it is that they don't even like that. You know, in Nigeria, they will tell you do it this way, do it tight, do it tiny. Mm. You know, make it um like like I don't know like a, different kinds of styles. But here, they want it simple. And that's simple that you're not going to really take like three hours to finish it. You'll be taking like, tell me no lie, 180 euro. 180 euro? Yes. 
and even one please day, if you are there uh, have your conversion <laughs> cal calculator 180 <laughs> euro converted to nigeria Convert money it. in current changes rates yeah okay and, see what and, and sometimes you know all these stories they, they come and then they make one trade mm. i don't know what they use it for just one i'm talking of this this just one single one just one single this is this thing you're seeing yeah. now. they make it for 20 euro they make it for 30 50. just one like just this just one and you can do like four people they will just come in group they are going for tourists you know just do one one i can show you a video of the one i've done no i don't just know one. i don't know whether you are saying it's, it's stand one one but you are you just saying it out, out just, of all the hair just one like this at, you in all the hair like was... at the back uh -huh. you get your 30 euro 50 euro sometimes sometimes they pay 50 sometimes they pay 30. For... <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, that's what I'm Sorry, I'm holding to stretch it very well. I don't want to touch another man's uh, wife's hair. So, do you understand what we are talking about here? So, okay, now, that Bob Mali you are talking about now, that is what you said, just in for Nigeria one. Nigeria is, when you do the whole hair, uh -huh. tiny, tiny, they would tell you to do it tiny, I want it very tiny. And then at the end of the day, when you spend like six hours in one hair, they will pay you 5,000. Let me, the highest they pay me in Nigeria is 5,000 for grades five thousand yes the highest yes. now now that is what you are doing now for for one 180 euro the least we collect here is 150 the least 150 euro. so imagine the distance i said the reason why you said that it, it works as a <laughs> you've seen it Thank you so much for this disclosure because yeah. the reason why we are saying this uh, uh, as people do ask us we are not here to discourage anybody or telling uh, uh, the, the negative aspect of this very place. No. We are just here to expose things the way they are. You understand me? Sometimes we jump people who this place are not, is not profitable to. You understand me? It's not really maybe the, the side of life how they find themselves is not really encouraging. We still share the story. Just like as we made this our sister now, she, her own story, her own view, uh, her own approach towards life in this place, you can see that it's something that's worth emulating. You understand me? So this is just, just the way it is. We are not searching for the bad aspect of life to showcase in order to discourage anybody from coming to this place. No. We are doing all random uh, issues just to share things the way they are. Please, what would be your last word of uh, advice to anybody who are still out there looking for a way out, still contemplating. Oh, if I should come to Europe, uh, will, I, will I find better life there? Will it be okay for me? Though I have a craft, I have this. I don't know. The way the story I'm hearing about Europe, I don't really think uh, I will find a better. What will you say to them? Okay, first of all, I will, I will tell the world, you know, anybody that's coming here, don't have the mindset of coming here for prostitution, first of all. Okay. Because i don't know uh, I, to me it's 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 something that shouldn't even be considered if you are coming to europe you should have like i said before you should have a handbook oh, wow. something you can do very well that you feel good at doing it and i'm sure when you come here you will definitely see people that will you know, introduce you to people and then from there you just you know start doing what you know how to do instead of coming because most times some of them come with the mindset of because they have they already know that people what you say they generalize the fact that women come here for prostitution mm. so some sometimes people you know you know, just tell themselves that when they come they join people to do what they are doing and to make their you know get what they are getting but if if you can you know advise yourself you know, look for a handbook i can advise you i mean to say look for a handbook learn it make sure you're good at it and come here, the sky will be your limit. Yeah, because once you are doing it and you're living, I don't think there's any other reason for you to, you know, do things that are not really pleasant. Uh, moral. Yeah. Okay, no, please let me quickly ask because I think I came across somebody who said that uh, this handwork of a thing, having this craft, is a good thing. But coming here, they find it difficult, like getting places to work or to integrate themselves how was that experience to you okay for me i actually got my own place i'm working now because i haven't gotten my i'm working for somebody okay. but i got to 
period to introduce to the person through the person I do it. When you come to a place, you know you you know how it is. You mingle, you talk to people. You can you still see African people yeah. around where you're living. Yeah. Because I did a hair, I did a hair in in the compound where I'm living, and she was okay with it. She told other people that is how I started doing it. And then the person get to meet the the, the lady that I'm working with now. Yeah. She was looking for somebody, and then the lady I worked on was like ah. I have someone that made this hair that she lives in my compound and she's very she's very good. So that, that was how they did the connection. And then from there she came to the house and uh, we would like to work in the salon and have somebody that said it. And then again the church, our church, mm. um, I'm a Catholic. So okay. they announced it that they are looking for somebody's looking for a hairdresser. So even in, in your area, maybe in your I don't know, it's just what works mm, for me. Yeah. Work for me yeah. Yeah. They announced it that they're looking for hairdressers. So I checked the two places. And then I chose the one they announced in the church. But I'm just saying in what I'm saying next thing is that thing you're doing can you know introduce you to people. When you start doing it, people will start talking to other people about what you're doing. And from there, God will just make a way for you. Mm. Yes, that is it. And another thing is just being good at it. Yes, being good. Being at good at it. it. Yes. Uh, yes. Because if I wasn't good, uh, uh, I don't you... think the lady would have introduced no, me. No, no. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. God bless you. We never take this opportunity for granted. We really appreciate your time with us here. And uh, we still hope, maybe, because if we do have a conversation with people like this, our uh, audience do request that we visit such a person like again. If it pleases them, or maybe they see that what you release to them is really beneficial and they still need more. You understand me? So don't be surprised that if they made requests, we might find you and we visit you again. Okay. Thank you so much. We really appreciate this time. God bless you.